Uh, we're up early today. It's 5.30. Couldn't sleep anymore. I figured we'd get up. Alright, we're making really good time today. The weather's been cooperating. And we're just out front of Drunken Island. Uh, we're into a real busy part right here. Tons and tons of boats. I don't know if that's somebody's idea of a houseboat. Putting a tent trailer on a barge. Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> oh, he's on shore. Don't go in there, Otter. We're coming out there. Oh. Just scared the life out of a poor otter. I was sitting there eating. <laughs> we thought it was a stick. I was. I thought there was something wrong with him. I know he was. I think he's chomping back a clam or something. Yeah, we thought. We thought he was a. I thought it was a log. After scaring that poor otter, we decided to take this site. It's pretty close to where we want to be for tomorrow. We're uh, getting. On our way back down, and we have lots of days left, so gotta slow down a little bit. Well, we're all done. We've had our dinner, and I found a toonie. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> Hell went down by the water, came back with a toonie, so that was awesome. He uh, sent me to do a chore and I got paid. Yeah. We're just gonna play some dominoes here. We might have a fire if the wind dies down, but I don't know. It's been blowing and it hasn't stopped yet and sometimes like 7 30. Well, we were just casting off the rocks here and this hog of a pit comes up out of nowhere. That is one gorgeous pick. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! It's a lot colder today. Probably 10 degrees cooler. Actually have a sweater on for the first time on the whole trip, I think. So today I'm taking advantage of this table. And we're having blueberry pancakes. Uh, we only have to go up to the dam and then down, and then it's uh, 
we're into more narrow travel river travel for the rest of the trip so all right all right we're on the water full of pancakes and coffee so we just found a portage here this is around the free flow channel and uh it's a 700 meter i think we're going to paddle up to the dam because it's only supposed to be a 50 meter right, we're at the little chaudier dam just trying to find the portage all right it's not over here we're going to keep looking I came back here and there is a little trail up the side of the dam i can't condone using it because it's not marked as a portage trail but to me it looks like it does take you over around the side there's a little campsite there and i'll show you what it's like when we... all right we came down here I'm gonna put in here and see if we can get around bottom of the dam and we're heading up here all right so we just came through there's a little spillway there beside the dam just came through that we're gonna carry on up here all right we're approaching another little swift i'm gonna go down this one so we just uh, went through that one little swift. That was fun. And we're working our way down here now. Beautiful. Pretty narrow through here, but you can see by the water lines how high it must be sometimes. Well, we're back in There's a little bit of water coming out of that channel there. We're going to keep our eyes open up here and see what it's like. So we're at the point where the, the highway crosses into Dokus, Indian Reserve. Alright, so we got out of this camp I can't read the number. Can you read the number out? 211. 211. So this just goes to show the variety of different camping opportunities on the French River across the way there, there's a, a motorboat and another motorboat, it looks like it's coming. And they've got at least two or three tents, a dining shelter, and a generator. Well, we just stopped at this little campsite. Five Finger Rapids. I'm gonna do this portage. All the boats, eh? well, here's the view from our campsite. It's kind of a wide open one, but really can't beat the view. 324. 